I have a mind block right now. You do? Yeah, I can't get past the letter C on the NATO alphabet. And I'm really pissed and I don't want anybody to tell me, but I can't I can't continue my day until I think of it. The you guys NATO ever had alphabet? Alpha? What's yeah, what's Alpha say? Bravo. Alpha Charlie. Bravo. Charlie. Fuck you guys. I'm Delta. so stupid. Delta Echo Fox Track Golf. India. Juliet. I don't know the alphabet. It's one way. God this. I know it's one way, but I'm trying to oh. get into this lane. Oh gotcha, okay. A B C D E F G. Oh this is this Hotel is India. Turn lane anyway. Juliet. Lemon tip. Kilo. Like a... Oh that okay. Uh, <clears throat> Kilo. Uh, let me put this on back. Lima. Mike. November. Oscar. Romeo. Oxitani. <laughs> Oxitani. And then M and N, it's Mana and Nana. <laughs> I hope one year when they go to take that groundhog out of the hole, he just fucking Can you just it. like play it? Yeah. Where am I taking it? Right here? Romeo. Probably on the back of him. Oh, and uh, Oscar. Papa. What's Q? Keto? There you go. Uh, is Q? Q is Qaddafi. Is it Keto? What's Q? He's an impractical joker. Okay. Uh, Romeo, Sierra, Tango. You guys want to start a podcast? I am. I've been doing it the whole time. Uh, it's Tango, Oscar. Q is Quagmire. A, B, Z, D, F, G, S, H, K, L, M, P, Q, R, S, T. Uniform, Victor. So you guys v. say Casey Anthony stuff, yeah? T-U-V-W. What's W? W is, uh... Wigwam. Bang, bang, sweet boom, bang. My brain's not working. That's working. You just went through the whole alphabet. That's, uh, that's got, big for you. I got stuck on C, so... Yeah, you always I get need, stuck on that C, don't you? I need help. W, W. <laughs> John, what age did you start dressing special needs? Uh, it goes year by year. Was the first year? Was probably 2015. All right, good. 2015, I purposely started trying to dress like I worked at Jurassic Park. <laughs> and all these years later, somebody finally noticed, and that person was you. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. See, I thought you were just looking like at a fucking special ed school. Crossing guard. Did you guys really think I was retarded when you met me? No, I thought James Heskey was retarded when I first met him. <laughs> Dude, the very first night that I met Heskey was at Helium in Philly. And he was sitting in front of Chip Chantry and I. And some comedian went up and James stood up and started clapping. Then turned around and smiled at Chip and I. And James has like that gigantic <laughs> Cheshire Cat smile. Yeah. And Chip's like, sit down, James. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wow. He, I've never heard Chip speak to a person like that. So, like, he must need to be a person that needs to be told what to do. How long did you think that? By the end of the night, I, I knew he was not special needs. <laughs> we got to stop at one of those bootleg Disney outlets. At some yeah, point. we do. Trying to buy a Minky Mouse for my girl. <laughs> John, would you ever propose to your girlfriend at Disneyland? If they let me climb to the top of Space Mountain. <laughs> well, I didn't ask what it would take for you to yell the N word there. I'm asking what it would take to get you to propose. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my freaking God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Propose? No, I propose. I propose marriage is a sham, bro. Yeah. Jake, you look Damn. like you would propose marriage at Disney. Yeah, I would uh, hard on the teacups. You look like you propose every year at Disney. 
<laughs> do the same one. Renew our vows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His wife's like, why are you wearing white? <laughs> white and, and white mouse ears to go yeah. along with it. He's wearing white basketball shorts. <laughs> do you get anything at uh, Disney World if you, like, have a public proposal? Do they give you, do they come out and give you a free set of... Um, Golf clubs? Ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all it would take. Yeah. Free, free set of left-handed irons. And I yeah, yeah they friend. give you a complimentary bottle of Hennessy. <laughs> oh, we should try it. We should try a same-sex uh, proposal. What, proposal. And then what? S- see what happens. Go home and see what happens? Yeah. Get your hand off of Mike's leg. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys have fun yesterday? Oh, I had a blast, buddy. I, I got spooked last night a bunch of times. <sighs> yes, you did. But even, you know, some of the people who work there. Yeah, yeah, at fucking <laughs> Halloween Horror Nights in Universal. We went to a bunch of, like, spooky haunted houses they have there. And in the midst of all the people dressed up as fucking monsters, there are employees who look like monsters that are dressed in polos. Yeah, they, they sit in there so they make sure you don't punch the people in the house. Right. And I think they're making sure you don't record. Yeah. I don't know what the... There's like every five actors, there's a person with a name tag and a polo shirt on. And they're very un, like unimpressed. And I was more thing. scared of them, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I thought they were going to... They are unsettling. I was doing that dad bit where like every time I'd see one, I'd in their face go, ah! Yeah. Yeah, I counted. You did that 4,000 times yeah, last night. Yeah, I loved it, man. Were you, didn't. They were you at, at any point, were you guys like screaming... To kind of scare yourself before you were expecting a scare. Oh, like a like when a baby pre- laughs when they're trying not to cry. Oh, you know, I, I guess I was doing that the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I think I was doing that. I saw you get you were in front of me, so I saw you get scared. Me sincerely a lot. Yeah, bro, that was leading the pack. Yeah, yeah, I, I took the scares for everybody. Yeah, you did. I even had that one Puerto Rican lady in front of me ask me to go ahead of her so I could take her scares. <laughs> it's like anything for my uh, boo riquas. <laughs> you know what's crazy? So we waited. The, it was a two-hour thing for the Mike Myers. And uh, why are you call him Mike Myers? Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> because he makes me horny. I mean, yeah. why else would I call him that? Oh, sorry, Michael Myers. Thank you. God. And, uh... <laughs> I... Because I was recording sound, I looked down when we got through the thing. Four minutes. Yes. Four minutes. Four minutes was each haunted house. What? How, how long it took yeah. to walk through. Yeah, we waited yeah. two hours for four minutes. But it was worth it. Yeah, they were worth it. Did you have a favorite one? You know, uh... The last one we did... I heard not, sorry, not the last one, the second to last one. When we went through the Fast and Furious. Yeah. And they had all those little, like, uh, dudes come through wearing hoods. Mm. Oh, yeah. What was that about? Yeah, because they weren't even in the thing. Yeah. So that we was, saw, like, a was cult weird. go through. That was nice and ominous. I like how this taxi, I know nobody on the podcast can see it, just fucking waited here for the longest time, and then when the one car tried to make a left, he went up and became a dick. Well, this truck should fucking go. Is that truck trying to make a U-turn? I, yeah, I think that's what they're trying to do. But man, I wish you guys could see this on the podcast. Oh guys. boy, <laughs> Hold on, you know what? This I'll, I'll truck pull up is my gigantic. camera. Gigantic. Yeah, what is this fucking dickhead doing? It's, it's a big truck. That's oh a big. That's a big truck. It's maroon that. and recording. it's full of dirt. Danny, can we cut to this in the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I need we'll, more work. We'll put yeah. the clip in. <laughs> yeah. Danny said he'll put the clip in. He'll 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 caption it. He'll, he'll put the clip in and blow his brains out. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Yesterday too, we drove past Casey Anthony's house a bunch of times. And too many times. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. And there was an old man working in the garage. Now the day before, <coughs> we had gone on a reconnaissance mission, and the old man was in the garage looking at us the day before as well. Like, we're, we're basically on first name basis at this point with this guy. He was just staring at us, and we were trying to casually look away and do circles, what, in that, that little Drive, round of... Yeah. driveway. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. I, I think when you buy a house, 
that has that kind of history attached to it, you kind of have to expect that. I charge admission. What if he was friendly? I don't think he was, man. But what if? Capable old men in Florida are not friendly. <laughs> Name one. Damn. Um, Hulk Hogan? No, that's a bad example. Um, yeah, who is who is down here is... I don't know. I don't think you live long enough to be an old man down here. Like, 50 is, like, kind of where you... That's where you're teetering? Start losing tan feet. Man. Well, I wouldn't give to make it to 50. <laughs> <laughs> John, how long do you think you're going to live? Uh, forever. Do you want to be buried in that outfit? This one I'm wearing right now? Yeah. Do you think it looks good? I... No. Do you think I should add anything to it? Yeah, I'm going to add a uh, one of those chin strap-on dildos in your casket. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about an accommodator? What is that? It's called an accommodator, Mike. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? And yet you speak of it like you've known of it. <laughs> Do you have a custom one? Like it's not on his Amazon wish list. Yeah, I got a custom one. What's it say on it? Mike's dad's dick. <laughs> did, you, did you get it engraved that things remembered? <laughs> wow, look at this lady's butt. <laughs> Jeez, man. I think John's custom uh, accommodator, it just, it's inverted, right? Oh. So it goes in your mouth. Oh, sorry, buddy. You fucker. Oh my god. My fucking god. I think podcasting and driving is just as dangerous as <laughs> drinking and driving. <clears throat> I'd be less oh, there's embarrassed. There's an air balloon over there. If I got pulled over after causing an accident while podcasting, I'd be less embarrassed to say that I was sucking Jake's dick. Yeah. Than <laughs> podcasting while driving. Your Honor, I was sucking the piss out of his shorts. So that he didn't feel embarrassed when we went to, uh, where are we going? To Port Orange, Florida. Okay. To visit the spirit of our girl, Eileen Warnos. We're going to stay in her old motel room that she lived in, and we're going to visit the bar where she was captured in. It was like her version of Cheers. Where everybody knows her prices. Jake, she's dead. Oh, I'm fine. Inappropriate. Ah, I think it's a spirit coming through right now. Oh, that was a bad one, huh, Mike? I'm just being considerate. Oh. Not to me. Yeah, not to the sound guy. <laughs> the journal boy, can we roll the window in? All right, if you don't mind sitting with a fart. God damn it, Danny. We can edit this. It's all in. And add special effects. <laughs> I like the wig. Yeah, wait. We can we can edit this. This shit's never coming out. What are you guys fucking talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. We are dumping this in fucking ten minutes. I can tell. I love NBC Suites. You ever stay there? No, I have never stayed at NBC Suites. <laughs> <laughs> I've stayed at CBS Suites. What's CBS Suites? And NBC. Oh. We said NBC, you fucking imbecile. Imbecile. <laughs> Have you guys thought of what the W is in the NATO alphabet? No. We're not going to either. Right. Wong, Wong. Waco. Waco's a good one. Bad man and wicked. Did you look it up? There's a bad man here. You just knew it this whole time? Wow, you pulled it out. I don't know if that's true. I think it is. All right, now I can finish my alphabet and then we can begin the podcast. It's Warrior. Yeah, where are we starting? LM Moon of PQRSTUVW Waco XYZ. Xanadu. 
X-ray. X-ray. Why? Why not? Mike, have you ever been to SeaWorld? No. I went as a child. I had a broken wrist when I was there. Were you also on perks? No. I was... How'd you break your wrist? Like a couple days before we left for Florida, I was playing kickball in the street. And I tried to show off and catch a basketball with one hand. And your hand just shattered trying to catch it? And then I caught it. And then Mrs. Del Calo called me in to fist <laughs> her asshole. <laughs> She moved left and I went right. Oh no. Yeah, it was bad, Jake. Damn. John, do you ever get upset when I talk about your mom's pussy and asshole so much? No, not at all. all right, well. In fact, I wish you would do it more. All right, well, just know that if you talked about my mom's pussy and asshole, I'd be okay with it. It's whiskey. How did I forget that? <laughs> whiskey Tango Foxtrot. It's yeah. A fucking movie. Starring Tina Fey. Yankee. Why? God damn it. All right. All right, you got any of those crossword puzzles, Jake? I got my brain moving. Uh, no, man, sorry. I, I, got, I finished it after the Gilmore Girls. Is your eyesight really bad, or did you just buy a large print crossword puzzle book? It was a gift. So I just I just accepted it. Dude, who gave you that as a I, gift? Don't make, me, don't make me reveal that. Who the fuck gave you don't that Don't make me as reveal the source. I bet we can guess. All right. It's an in-law, for sure. This is a mom mom in law A mom mom in law Or an aunt in-law. Yeah, it's like the equivalent, yeah. It's a family friend in-law? Yeah. All right. Do they have a funny name? No. Like Boop Bop or something? <laughs> Uh, yeah, my, my my wife's aunt Boop Bop gave me a crossword <laughs> puzzle, yeah. and I actually wear it to bed. I wear it to bed. <laughs> now, Jake is so nice that, like, if you gave him something super fucked up, like, in a Latin <laughs> nightgown, he would wear it to bed just because so he's so weird. nice. I, well, I'd, feel, I'd feel guilty if you'd fucking give me something that I don't use it. But Aunt Boop Bop would never be able to see you sleep, That's so more- why would you wear it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, do you have to you hand her, send her your, videos. your workbook when you're done? <laughs> <laughs> She's going to check your work? Yeah, she's going to yeah. check my work. His yeah. sleep apnea mask is also an all-night <laughs> webcam. <laughs> but for real, though, is that Aunt Boop Bop doing okay? She's doing good, yeah. yeah. That was nice to be thought of, to get a gift, you know? Yeah. What do you think it's going to be this year? God, I hope not Sudoku. Diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me one of those tin cans with cookies in it. Mm. Oh man, you know what's the worst? When you open one of those and it's like buttons. Oh yeah. That's like the best old lady prank. It's the only <laughs> one they got. Yeah, that's like a, an elderly version of what? Snakes in a can? <laughs> I gave you buttons again. Yeah. <laughs> the joke's on them. When you get them in orderly, it's paid $9 an hour. <laughs> How long we been rolling? 15 minutes? We got a good 30 seconds so far? Yeah, we got a clip. We are fucking rolling, baby. You guys, when you, when you guys went trick-or-treating as kids, did you ever get pencils? Yeah, it's a weird... That's a fucking... Weird I don't gift. understand the pencil. Well, it's usually like a pedophile telling what he wants to put inside of you. They'll give you a my roller coaster right now. Pencils, baby carrots. Ooh. Oh my god. Pennies. We're passing the scene of the crime. Baby carrots. Yeah, I, th- I think we are. I think it's going to be right up oh, here. Is this Universal? Yeah. Wow. That roller coaster changed my fucking life last night. Yeah, the Rip It Rocket. I recommend uh, to everybody out there take a hit of LSD and ride a roller coaster. Scream into the night. John, you were getting pretty scared just walking around with those guys jumping out at you. Yeah. It was pretty... I they mean, do a good job of hiding and... Uh, yeah. And being uh, eight feet tall, you know, <laughs> you walk into some woman's penis. <laughs> and you're like, oh, whoa, sorry. <laughs> and then she grazes you with a long witch nail. <laughs> Dude, I said to you yesterday, I was like, you going there in that condition probably makes you the bravest of the group. I'll take that. 
I'll take the bravery points. I don't agree with it. You don't agree with it? But I'll take it. Who do you think was the bravest, John? The bravest? Yeah. The bravest boy? Yeah. It the, was me. The bravest Romeo Circle boy. It was me. So yeah. you, did you say bravest or graviest? <laughs> Wait, who had the most gravy on the helmet? There's the fucking roller coaster. I lost my goddamn brain on last there night. There it is. Wow. Apparently that's rated number three at all the roller coasters in Universal. Is it? Yeah. Look at that. I mean, we've really had a quite a trip. We've, you know, stopped on Casey Anthony's old grounds. Did you guys notice the child swap sign at the Transformers ride? Excuse me? You heard me right. No, child you can swap? Get, you can go and leave with a different kid? I don't know what it is, but dude, <laughs> there's a room with a sign outside of it at the Transformers ride at Universal that says child swap. No way. Is it like a custody thing? <laughs> Yeah, just so you don't have to feel like a dickhead for dropping your kid off at like a fucking Sunoco. <laughs> Damn, what could that have meant? And thank God you, as a childless adult with four other adult men, did not approach anyone and say, what's this sign about? Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Why is this door locked? Can you tell me everything about the child swap? Is this with admission? <laughs> <laughs> what's the wait time on this? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do the kids wear the 3D glasses, too? <coughs> you think they wash those 3D glasses? Oh, man, no. Yes. No. They, they washed them before COVID. You think they dip them in, like, a little, like... Gravy? Un- yeah. 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 Do you think they... What they don't wash is the trays at the airport that you put your shoes on. Yeah. The goddamn cell phone goes on some yeah. somebody else's shit shoes, you know? <laughs> Is that grossing you out? <laughs> Who got grossed out by it? That was me. Oh. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint you. Th- you threw your voice. It sounded like Mike vomited. Well, I think we did it, guys. I think we got the episode. Uh, uh, oh. Uh. Jake, you listen to Taylor Swift? Nah, man. I'm, a, you know, I always, I sided with Kanye in the whole Taylor, Kanye juice. juice. Oh, yeah. Me too. And <laughs> now, I, I think I'm, I might have a buyer's remorse on that. You sided with Kanye when he went on stage? Yeah. And took the microphone away? Taylor needed to be knocked down a peg, all right? All right, I don't disagree with that. I thought it was crazy. I would never disagree with that. But you guys excited for Disney tomorrow? Um, I hope there's a roller coaster that can send me anywhere near where I was last night. You're gonna like the Aerosmith ride. Uh, it's a lot like the Rip Riding Rocket. Is it? Does it go upside down? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's at Hollywood Studios. Yep. Yeah. Is that the most extreme one they have? Yes. And you hear that part in what? Is it Sweet Emotion? Or was? That's pretty rocking. Mike, did you choose your music on the roller coaster last night? I did, but it gave me the wrong song. Really? Yeah. What did you choose? I chose Baja Man. Evanescence, but they gave me Johnny Rebel. So the songs were just screaming the N-word as I rode the entire ride. I don't I don't know what Johnny Rebel is. <laughs> Jake play for him. I like coffee and I like Tony Run. Um I didn't select a song in time, and they played a techno song, and it, that's good it really you. added to the experience. Yeah, you look like somebody that's in the techno. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I hope they scanned my image and then decided on the song they played for me. Yeah, you have the vibes of someone who just turns on a black light and listens to Sandstorm to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, kind of... Was it? Uh, Were you in the Sandstorm last night? I was. Damn. Gonna be a pan half. So when you, yeah, so you, Danny, Mike, you guys all went on the roller coaster, and I had to stay back like a mom whose like ankles an hurt. Bebop. Yeah, like an yeah. Be- a real Aunt Bebop. Yeah, we had to give you all your things. literally everything we had on us. And I'd sit on a bench <laughs> and wait for your asses. It's a, you have to go through a metal detector to go on this. Yeah, we had, we had to take our underwear off without taking our shorts off. <laughs> <laughs> Jake had to hold all that shit. Yeah, dude. And uh, as soon as you guys went in, they closed the line. Because you guys yeah. went in, it was after 2 a.m. when you guys 
by the well, time we yeah. got in line, yeah. Yeah, it may have been like 158, 159, but still, the fact that they even let you guys in was mm-hmm. insane. Yeah, maybe 10 more people after us got on. Yeah. Bro, uh, what's Pause of Fury? Say some. That movie? Ooh, looks like the movie we're going to see today instead of doing what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me miss my cats. I know, I saw a picture of a hamster earlier and I, was, I missed Richard Gere. <laughs> <laughs> I think in 2023, I just want to do Richard Gear content. <laughs> just ruin his fucking life. You got a lot of plans yeah. for 2023. Let me let me tell you. Burp and gerbils is getting off the ground. Yep. Yeah, we're starting a new podcast. You're going to every city in North America. Called Burp and Gerbils, dedicated entirely to Richard Gear shoving gerbils up his asshole. Are they so? I don't understand the the concept of the podcast. So is it is it? Gerbil survivors coming on to tell their story, their harrowing tale, or is it... Jake, it's going to be every aspect of booty gerbils that you can imagine. First responders from, like, on the scene. Yep. And there he was. I just saw a little tail sticking out. (laughs) Do gerbils have tails? That's that's how they get pulled out. They're like tampons. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. You you know a guy's a gerbil butt guy, if you're (laughs) referring to... A gerbil's tail as a, as a uh, booty tampon string. <laughs> Have we introduced the concept of the Romeo Circle yet? No, no talk officially. About it. Yeah, go ahead. Dude, all right. So, if you're listening to this podcast, thank you. <laughs> and you probably have heard us wonder about whether or not it's possible. <laughs> no, it is possible. It is possible. We've, we've always debated the number of gentlemen. Yes. How many gentlemen would it take to all be performing anal sex to each other in a circle? A full circle of butt fucking. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we, I don't know if it's ever been done. I know it's possible. No, though. they've done it. I know it's possible. <laughs> they've done it. <laughs> <laughs> they've done it. Anyway, we accidentally came up with the perfect name for it. <laughs> It's the name of our street that we're staying on in Disney World. And it's called a Romeo Circle. I mean, that's perfection. A, a, a fucking circle of hunks. A bunch of Romeos. A bunch of hunks. Yep. Hunky balcony boys. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a sweet yeah. sorrow, right? Yeah, it's definitely been done, too. Like, there's... I don't think there's a gay act that you can think of that hasn't been done, because, like... That probably happened in the Dark Ages, like... No, dude, it's happening now. Dude, gay dudes are, like, fucking... No, I'm saying, like, it's been happening for it. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. Yeah, because gay dudes are, like, fucking Disney Imagineers. The words, it can't be done, just aren't in their vocabulary. <laughs> that was probably, like, the third question when man first started speaking. <laughs> wow, wow, Have you, did you see the tiger? Yeah. Second was like, oh, hey, how's your family? <laughs> Third was like, how many dudes would it take yeah. to fucking a full circle? <laughs> then the fourth question, why are we here? <laughs> Gets philosophical after that. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have merch made up in a couple years for the for the Romeo <laughs> Circle guys. So please pay attention to RomeoCircle.com. <laughs> Like and subscribe for every Romeo Circle update. You can join the newsletter. Submit to participate. Would you take part if you agreed to take part in a Romeo Circle when you got there and you didn't like the guy who was behind you? Oh man, you can't back out at that point. I mean, literally. <laughs> <laughs> But do you think you could be like, uh, I just got to go uh, charge my phone real quick. <laughs> yeah. Get a oh, my God. Guy. I left my oven on in the car. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'd be like, well, that's all right. Well, then the firefighters will come. <laughs> a whole new can of gay worms. <laughs> Camo car. Damn, that's cool. That guy doesn't have his kids. <laughs> you 
guys should Google camo car uh, if you're listening to the podcast. <laughs> it might look similar. Yeah, it looks just like the one you're Googling. This one's a uh, Infinity. Actually, if you go to RomeoCircle.com, you can see the car we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're auctioning it off for charity for breast cancer. Do you think they had slave auctions for charity? <laughs> I hope not. What is that when they like uh, have like a bachelor auction? What do they call that? I, th- I think that's an auction, right? When they're like, oh, look at Mike and his hunky tits. Do I hear five dollars, five dollars, five dollars? That definitely sounds like something an Aunt Bop would go to. Yeah, that's... They I, love the Chippendales. Oh my God. They love Aussie Heat, Thunder from Whoa. Down Under. I mean, who doesn't? Let's be honest. What bingo game do you think Bebop won that crossword puzzle at? Definitely like something in a Catholic school cafeteria. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's tough. Like, when, when you're an aunt and you get one of those nicknames, that's just like your entire family <laughs> calling you fat without saying the word fat. <laughs> that's Bebop. <laughs> Yeah, she she actually had her choice of that crossword puzzle book or preseason tickets to yeah. the 76ers. <laughs> just if your name Bebop, you're just a fat bitch that loves Christmas. I'm not I've never been into Christmas. Like, I don't understand the people that are. Oh, that's Furman, man. You mean like when people are nice to each other for the one fucking day of the year? Yeah. I mean I've, you go to Wawa, they're fucking nice around the door. Just around the door, mm-hmm. but you get that, you get to that deli counter waiting for your sandwich, and it becomes a free for all. But by that door, it's peaceful. Yeah, the guy who's going to wait out in the parking lot to fight you at Wawa will still hold, hold the door the, open yeah, for yeah. you. Let's go, pussy. Open <laughs> the door. Here you go. After you, faggot. <laughs> Man, I don't think there's an emptier set of eyes than a local newscaster eyes. Local newscaster eyes? Yeah. Are you talking anchor or are you talking about field reporter? All of them. I don't know, man. I think anchor is the, that's the emptiness. Yeah. And the field reporter, that's the hope. They're like bug-eyed. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hang Hang on, I gotta wake up. Your alarm's going off? Yeah, John's uh, 2.35 alarm's going off. (laughs) Oh my God, my girlfriend just saw two eagles. Whoa. Can you believe that shit? Damn, was she at the game? What, the game? Is there a Thursday night game tonight? Oh my God, John. John. Look, this is never gonna get released. John, we're gonna let you out of crock world. Yeah, can you just toss my cell phone out the window? (laughs) Yeah. (coughs) That's weird. Danny's battery just killed itself. <coughs> Jake, when, you, when, you, when newscasters have sex, do you think the man newscaster says this Justin? <laughs> as long as he doesn't cut to somebody else, I'm fine with that. You know? I was talking about a squirrel on water skis. Yes. Now we're talking. There's not enough of that anymore in the news. I think people made fun of it too much. Now they don't do it. They stopped because there was uh, one news station who was speaking about the George Floyd story, but they were showing water skiing squirrel footage. No, they weren't. Mike. Yes, they were. You are lying to me. Nope. Is it real footage? Yeah, it was nuts. I want to believe this unless you tell me the truth right now. He said it was nuts. I want to tell Aunt Bebop at the next family (laughs) party. I'm like, you know, actually, one of this happened at a news broadcast. Jake (laughs) said it was nuts. Oh, God. Damn it. 
Can you, you show hear some, me? Jay, can you I, show us a picture of Bebop? No, no. Please, dude. Show me Bebop. I have to. This all out of it. Bebop is is sacred. Either way, I'll never know. Yeah, just find a, find a nice Bebop on the internet. John, are your amp beep boops still alive? Um, yeah. I got all my beep boops. <laughs> your amp beep boop left you a, a tower of cash. What? Right? Me? Yeah, your, your amp pad. Yeah, amp pad left me five Gs, baby. R.I.P. Happy birthday to have an Patsy. God's got her. Was she, was she your amp beep boop? Uh, I had an amp bitty. <laughs> there you go. You got yeah. two boops. I mean, in her defense, her real name was Elvira. Shut up, really? Yeah. Fucked up individual, too. That's a fucking cool name, though. Elvira? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want it to go to school with or live a life with, but every October would be pretty neat. Yeah, if at age 36 I could become Wiccan and change my name, sure. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be pretty sweet. Dude, when... She was married a bunch of times. One of her married names was Elvira Goldhorn. Oh my god. That's Yeah, real evil bitch shit. Wow. Wait, whose real name was Elvira? Your beep boop? Yeah, my version of beep boop. Yeah. Actually Aunt Patsy was more of a beep boop. <laughs> Dude. His uh, aunt his aunt Biddy. Okay. We all please if you're Please, if you're still listening to this, <laughs> fucking get a hobby. Learn how to play guitar or something. <laughs> but if you if you don't, if you're not good with your hands, uh, draw what you think a beep boop looks like and yeah. submit it to. Hit us with your beep boop in the comments. Put below. it in the story yeah. and tag like little stinkers <laughs> on Instagram. I want to see I want to see your beep poops out there. <laughs> like subscribe beep boop. <laughs> we'll all draw our version of a beep boop when we get to. Uh, this old whore's hotel room that we're going to. This place is going to be disgusting, I guarantee it. Do you think you'll have a pen and paper in the desk drawer? No. Do you think there will be a desk? Yeah, and there will be a knife in it. <laughs> Just a bunch of condom wrappers. A bunch of car in front of us. Tattoos What's he by got? Chicano. Oh, shit. He's got husky hanging yeah. out of the door. Oh, shit. We got a big... It's always a good day to find yourself with a new tattoo. It looks like it says it's always a good day to end yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. That's a bad font. Yeah, I agree, Chicano. <laughs> and yourself with a new tattoo. <laughs> that guy is not getting much business. Well, there's a dog on the other side. Ah, it's the same dog. Oh, my God. He's actually driving. Oh, my oh God, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Hold on. I got it. Yeah. You think he's tatted up? I hope so. Oh, that's not what I thought he looked Whoa, like. No, not what I expected at all. Damn, I got a little, I got a little video. Daddy, can we add this in post? We. <laughs> that might be the old man from Casey Anthony's house. Damn, this whole time he's been tattooed by Chicano. Wait, was that was it like a, a Caucasian-looking guy? Yeah. Really? A I gringo. Missed I missed him. A gringo with a dingo. I watched um, almost the entirety of the movie Ambulance last night. Oh, did you really? Yeah. It's weird. The new movie, right? Like yeah. The, the it's remake? Not, it's not a good movie. I saw it. A remake? Yeah, it's a remake. Of, of I am what? Another ambulance. Really? Yeah. Ambulance. What kind of shoes does your beep up wear? Uh, she wore like, almost like ballet slippers. Whoa, dainty feet? Yeah, little feet. No oh. gout. No, Big lady, nothing orthopedic. Feet. Damn. She was two and a half women. My, my beep up rocks those like thick sandals. Always open toe. Strap or uh, step in? Oh, strap. Come on, bro. I think my beep boop has black, all black, a last uh, Velcro, Velcro uh, shoes. Yeah. 
That's tough. Like, when you commit to be boot, your feet get bare. <laughs> My head actually wears uh, those light-up sneakers. <laughs> she actually wears orthopedic heelys. <laughs> orthopedic heelys. <laughs> <coughs> Oh man, I still feel bad about this even though Patsy's been dead for fuck over 20 years. But right before I met my wife, I was very lonely, so I got a dog. And it was just like this badass beagle. And then once I started getting pussy, I was just like, alright, mom, you can take care of the beagle from now on. Yeah. And my aunt was at my house con at my mom's house constantly taking care of my niece. So, you know, by proxy. Aunt Bibu ended up taking care of the dog a lot of the time. And a delivery guy came to drop off food. And anytime somebody would come to the door, the dog would go fucking ape shit and yeah. try to charge out. So when Aunt Patsy, aka Bibu, opened the door for to pay the delivery guy, my dog head tried running out toward the delivery guy, <coughs> grabbed onto his collar, but this fucking dog was so powerful that it yanked her out the door. A beagle? Brother. This this was a beagle from the hood. Like he, damn, he had a neck to him, and he had some fucking. He would bench press out in the front yard. Yeah. Beagle from the hood was that Ice Cube or Ice T? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they had beagles out here this big. <laughs> What do you think is the toughest dog to be in the hood? Like the toughest as in like the most intimidating or like, man, that sucks for that dog. Yeah, it's like, man, I really got to get to a nicer neighborhood. Because like when you're a pit bull, you'll <laughs> yeah. fit right in. Yeah. A Rottweiler fit in. German Shepherd, you could pull it off. I'd say like, like a Golden Retriever. Yeah, yeah. It's tough, yeah. Border Collie. That is like the whitest dog. Oh my God. I gotta wake up again. Good morning, John. Morning, y'all. Yo, Buck Buck in the chat. Thanks to all <laughs> you and your beep boops. Send me your beep boops picture in the mail, and I'll give you a free sticker when I see you. What's your sticker say? Uh, shout out to all the beep boops. It's just beep on the hood. And it's actually a hologram of what everybody's beep bop looks like. Whoa. The hologram looks into your eyes, and it projects the beep bop that you have envisioned for your own life. Oh, my gosh. And, um, yeah, the stickers, did I say they're free? <laughs> yes, you uh, said you did it, though. fucking ruin <laughs> oh, me. No. Oh, fine, I'll do it. That's going to be expensive. Yeah, I know. It's like fucking $15 a pop. A, a, a sticker. A per sticker, but did you hear what it does? <laughs> yeah, I heard, but what, what's the size of the sticker, at least? The size of the sticker is fucking the uh, oh, no. size of a fucking Bob Marley poster. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And I'm giving them out for free? For free? <laughs> oh my God. That's $15 a pop out of your pocket. This isn't live. You can always go back and cut this out. <laughs> no, I, I'm a man of my word. <laughs> You're not ruined yet, John. My promise stands. All right, that's nice of you. Yeah, for someone who really likes finding deals, I think you really shit the bed on this one, John. Well, it's a good thing I got so many deals, now I can afford to take a fucking <laughs> bath on all these beep bop digital posters. <laughs> Wait, it's digital too? Ah. God, you're just digging yourself further and further. Wow. So not only is it a holographic image, it's also digital. They're also NFTs. <laughs> they are? Yes. Oh, fuck, they are. <laughs> All right, actually, yes, they are. Oh, no. And I'm going to make a lot of money off of these. No, but you said you're giving them away. Oh, oh. fuck, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and all we have to do is send you beep up. God damn it! You know what? Don't send me a beep up picture. I can't afford for you to send me a beep up picture. John, maybe we'll go in your email settings and see if we can disable images. John's gonna be found dead of a single gunshot wound, surrounded by beep up pictures. <laughs> yeah, Jake, this is not an email operation. I'm talking snail mail pictures of beep boops. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, snail mail. Yeah, I'm talking go. Two staples. Steal one piece of loose leaf and a sharpie. Draw your beep bop. Fold it up. Oh, all <laughs> Try oh. fold it. Put it in an envelope. Mail it to my wife's house. What's the address? Thirteen seventeen. <laughs> You're gonna edit that out. 
that's that's a edit for you. What? My Did address. You say actual address. <laughs> was that your actual address? It was close enough. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, can you say that louder into the camera, please? You know, I just realized we have a Ouija board in the back, so maybe that's what's causing all this. Oh, man. Causing what? All the beep boop chaos. You think so? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, that thing's rattling around back there. No. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's talking like a motherfucker in the trunk right now. Yeah, my dead aunt Patsy's trying to talk to me. It's almost like you have your dead aunt in the trunk. Feels like an Eminem song. Got to have people in the trunk. Is there a timestamp on there? This is like coming out. <laughs> I didn't even hit her. <laughs> I hate everyone in this car. For a fraction. Yeah, I saw you cracking up two seconds ago. You better fucking stop I was, lying. I, was, I saw him. I saw him I sketching thinking, a beep boop for this end of you. I was thinking mean thoughts. That's why I was laughing. <laughs> Yeah, mean thoughts about your beep boop. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Anthony's? <laughs> she knows OJ, dude. That's not your beep boop. Is that your beep boop? She's the only aunt I have, I think. No, uh, you gotta have a beep boop out there somewhere. No, we'll a, beep, find you a, a beep, beep boop. boop, there's no question. Can I borrow one of yours? OJ never fucked your beep boop. Yeah, beep boops don't Do have sex. OJ beep boops don't get fucked by OJ. Beep boops don't get fucked by anybody. No, time out. I think beep boops get fucked like once and then they get left alone. Yeah, to become ant beep boops. Yeah. That's a that's a what completes a transformation. That's what makes you a beep boop. That's what makes you a beep boop. Uh, may just be like a, a phantom load. <laughs> phantom load? <laughs> it gives them a kid which ends up making them an ant. Rosemary's baby. Is a phantom load. And beep boop baby. And <laughs> <laughs> beep boop baby. <laughs> you see that demon who fucked Aunt beep boop? <laughs> Do your Aunt beep boops wear leather jackets? No. 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 No, Aunt, Aunt Beep Boop never had a jacket. <laughs> she oh, always cold. arrives very cold. <laughs> Damn, 65 Mustang, all original. Look at that top. I got one of those in the garage at home. Do you? I don't have a garage. Oh. <laughs> it's in my mom's garage. Say something about my mom's garage, Mike. Can I put my bike she in it? She don't have a Mustang in it, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna you're gonna meet my mom now, and she's gonna introduce you to my beep boop. Is your mom a 65 too? I say she's a 10. I didn't I didn't hear enough of that. You think there's an uncle version of beep boop? Oh, for sure. No. Nope, Jake is wrong. It's just Uncle Hansy. <laughs> nah, beep boops have no uh, Ill, beep, Ill intentions. Yeah, beep boops are pure. Yeah, they're so pure. Pure of heart, pure of, pure of action, pure of mind. Damn, dude. Am I an amp beep boop? Mm. Mm. Fuck. Yeah, you do look and act like an amp I, beep boop. Yeah, I'm doing crossword puzzles with my yeah. boys. Oh my god. Beep Boop was in the car the whole fucking time. God damn. Talk about a twist ending. Wait, will you be my Aunt Beep Boop? I'll be your Aunt Beep Boop, Danny. Yeah. You know what? And you guess what's the first thing we're doing? That's Crossword puzzles Outback on the Outback Steakhouse. Woo! Oh my God. Uh, I gotta take my I gotta take my nephew to the Outback Steakhouse. Get him a blooming onion. Show him my good Australian accent that I do. You gotta tell him to wrap it up because it's gonna be a sin to throw it out. <laughs> <coughs> Danny, when you're done with your knife and fork, just wipe them off and give them to me. I'll put them in my purse. Oh, dude, uh, my ambi boot 
I was out to dinner with her one time. Uh-huh. We went to uh, eat crabs, and I was a child. And there weren't any napkins on the table, so she told me to wipe my hands on her dress. Oh, man. That's sweet right there. What color was the dress? I don't remember. Do you think Jesus would do that for his disciples? That are just having wings, and he's just like... They're all, all the disciples just like... Oh, oh, uh, he had like, him washing his feet, dude. <laughs> you get to wipe your shit on him. The apostle's like, can I just dip my hand in the water? He's like, no, no, no just... No, just hold your hands in the air. Let it... <coughs> Who do you think pick up the check at the Last Supper? <laughs> well, Judas bounced, I know right? it wasn't that one guy that he just said. <coughs> yeah, Judas was the guy that was FaceTiming the whole dinner. <laughs> but then mysteriously had a shit when the check came. We out here at Nazareth, Buffalo, Wild Wing, whole squad eating, <laughs> celebrating my boy's crucifixion, you know what I mean? Uh, OJ's here. <laughs> Jake, did you turn the button from feet and head to just head? I actually put it on neck, back, pussy, and crack, too. Is that this one right here? Yep. Just head. All right, that's my Sibian. Turn it off. <laughs> um, I feel like I don't even have to ask, but do you enter the hotel rooms from the outside or the inside? Oh, God, come on, dude. It's an outside only. Yeah, you can basically pull up to the front door of this fucking motel. Okay. You think she was uh, working in an indoor facility? Nah. She had a mixed business with pleasure, Jake. But that shit, don't shit where you eat. Yeah. Don't shit where you eat. <laughs> I, tell you, I tell you this, I eat while I shit. I know you do. I bring Pop-Tarts <laughs> in the bathroom with me and just plop, plop. Yuck. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you've been eating peanut butter and jellies like Pringles this week. Dude, listen. <laughs> yeah, eat how do you fit again. them in that round jar? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you guys bought a certain number of fucking snacks. True. I know who I am. And if if I just fucking abided by your snack laws, they'd all be gone. And you guys would fucking hate me even more. So I'm like, I'll just get fucking peanut butter and jelly, shove them in my ass, and when I'm ready, I'll pop one out, and I'll eat it. I'd actually love to see you eat the nuts I bought. The pistachios? Yeah. Crack them open without using your hands. Oh, dude. Oh, I wish we took them. I want them now. Never been a big pistachio guy. Yeah. Uh, look at these two fucking skeletons up here. Oh, that's spooky. That is kind of spooky. Yeah, there's two skeletons on a moving truck up here. If you Google skeletons on the back of a moving <laughs> truck, on what road are we on? Uh, I-4 East. Yeah. Actually, this picture will also be on RomeoCircle.com. It is pretty sick. Oh it looks like they're God. holding the furniture in place. Man, but it gets a pussy. Oh my God, he yeah. posed him so well. Ugh. That dude's probably getting his dick sucked right now in that cab. Do you think the skeletons uh, were offered uh, well, pizza and beer to help him move? <laughs> <laughs> they probably didn't, and that's why they're dead. Damn. Oh, baby. Wow, an Amazon fulfillment center. <laughs> you guys can't see this, but if you Google <laughs> image search Amazon fulfillment center. And, uh, Actually, put it into the. Uh, you know? What's the um, artificial intelligence thing? Wally 2? Dolly, uh, wow. Dolly generator? Yeah. Put in Ant Beep Boop touring Amazon facility and mail that to me. <laughs> uh, hard copy. <laughs> what are you going to give them? Um, I mean, I'll make gotta, it easy this time. You got to save the posters. 20 bucks the... cash. Wait, 20, that's more than the, what the posters cost. Well, most of these people don't have a printer, so but it's if, not going to be easy for them. But if all they have to do is draw, they have to draw it? No, this one they have to print okay, out. Okay. A, a I see. Full color. I image. see what you're doing of a dolly generated 
and Beat Boop. Jake, are you listening still? I'm listening, yeah. Is there anybody else? Uh, you know what? I can't say. Jake Beat Boop at the Amazon facility. What are you going to do once you receive all these these mailbags of images? I'm going to move. You're going to move? I'm going to move. I'm going to move to Yosemite Valley and then... Uh, no one will ever mail fire. me another beep boop for the rest of my fucking life. Have you ever started a wildfire, John? No. Um, well... Have you ever stopped one? I started a, a pile of leaves as a fire, but it wasn't in the forest. It was in the city. Does that count? Nope. <clears throat> okay. What was the question? You know, I forget. Okay. You guys like getting hungry or what? Yeah, man, I'm fucking starving. Yes. Are we gonna do all the hooker shit as soon as we get there? Um, I'd like to eat before I put my makeup on. <laughs> Makes sense. I can't wait to see you in makeup. I'm gonna look good, dude. I know you will. I told you. I just have one rule for you guys. Don't fall in love. And no, we should not do that stuff before we go to scoot in. We should go do that stuff first. Wait, scoot in first? All right, so the motel. Or no, for- last, last resort before we dress as whores and put makeup on. I don't, I don't know if you're trying to go to the last resort dressed as a woman. No, I'm not. Okay. But, but I think we could also get cleaned up and then go there. I'm gonna that get dirty. That seems like though. it's out of order. Let's not talk about specifics on the podcast, Danny. Do you think we should be releasing this information? Danny, is that thing even on? I hope it's not. <laughs> you have to press delete as soon as we get to. I got one of those nasty poop pee combos cooking right now. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to get two rooms. Mm. I got a tennis one. We have an offer to Yeah. All right. What are we? We're we're 26 minutes away from what? <coughs> Scoot in. Scoot in. stop coming up here. Would you, uh... Watch it. This, this place is an hourly place? No. No? Not that bad. I'm sure you can negotiate wages. You know, that kind of makes me think it's a nicer place than what I have in my mind. I'm telling you, it's not. Well, you just said it's not that bad after I asked if it was hourly. Yeah. I just said motel... Hourly, like a little bump and dump. Murder hookers. What did you call it? A bump and dump. <laughs> you bump uglies and you take a huge dump. <laughs> and then you leave. I believe all the bathroom fixtures are still the same as when she lived there. Are you serious? Yeah. They've remodeled uh, some of the room, but the bathroom should still be intact. So how did you go about getting, because we're staying in the room, right? Like yeah. the room. Well, I, I knew what room it was. And when I called to reserve a room, I asked for that one specifically. And I reiterated, like, I want room number seven. She's like, all right. Damn. What if they changed all the numbers on the rooms? Well, they did initially change it. It used to be room number eight. Really? But then it became seven, which is strange because... Seven eight nine. Yeah. (laughs) 
you you'd want it to keep it the same because especially a room like this, like you want as much business as possible because it doesn't seem like the kind of place that uh, that really uh, sells out often. Do you think that like when you said like, oh, I want room seven, they know exactly why you want it? Probably, yeah. Like, oh, okay. Do you feel like a, a little attitude change in the person? Like a no. Okay, I see who you are. Honestly, the lady I spoke to had a very thick Indian accent, so... Really? I don't know that we're getting what I asked for, but we're going to find out. What if there's... What if they accidentally gave the room to somebody else, and we get there and there's a family staying in the cell? <gasps> oh, I hope they like podcasts. Because they're getting one. I hope they like men dressed as hookers podcasting. I think those are two things that they're going to absolutely hate. You think they have ice? No. <laughs> how, how many items do you think are uh, empty from the vending machine? I don't if know there's a vending machine, then this is a nice place. I feel like they would have like a, a canned soda machine with like Pepsi <coughs> and like lemonade and orange soda and they're out of orange soda and then they accidentally stocked Sierra Mist in the Pepsi place what man exactly oh, these must be fans of mine all right, Jake just said that because there's an oversized load truck. He's acting up now. He knows we're being close. Yeah. How many oversized loads do you think are in an aliens room? Jake, I don't think she did business in there. Wait, what the hell did she do in the room? She lived there. Oh, well, that's just sad. Yeah, she was a road hooker, baby. I what, thought, was, what was her rate? I thought this was like the place she took John's back to, you know? No, the my place where you, my back. you yeah. take hookers back to. Damn. Oh, can we talk about how I, I picked an outfit last night when we went to Walmart in full confidence? Yep. Because I was like, oh yeah, I'll wear this, no problem, this will be great. Like, I got fucking, I got panties. And I was like, yeah, I'll wear this, it'll be funny. <laughs> And then you guys are like, oh yeah, we're gonna stand out on the road. I thought we were gonna be in the room the whole time wearing the outfits. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be outside on the boulevard, Jake. No, I have to stand out there. Oh, and the best part was, as soon as Jake picked out his outfit, we got in line, and there was a lady in line wearing the same exact outfit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Jake got a glimpse of what he's gonna look like today. And just to give you some perspective, uh, usually when I wear clothing, there's several X's that precede the L, and this one is just a women's L. <laughs> so, yeah, you're gonna get hot and bothered. Man, mostly bothered. <laughs> Dude, when you were waiting in the fitting room line. Uh. To try something the on. Woman number had one, her car number blocking. one, funny that you're going to go try it on. Number two, when we I realized what you were going to try on. I wanted to look good for you and guys. And you were like, I want to see if it fits. And Mike was like, it's not going to fit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Mike. I thought it fit very well. Oh, you got in it. I don't know that it fit, but. <laughs> Listen. If you got in it, it fit. Yeah. It's like when, it, when a cat sits in a shoebox and it's got to convince itself it that it's comfortable. If it fits, it shifts, brother. Can't wait to take a shit in that thing. <laughs> and then return it. <laughs> and then return it. <coughs> you have to let me try to return that. Oh, yeah. But I need the, I need the card. We're not popping any tags today, brother. Actually, you know what? I might have to keep my, my shirt because I want to cut it. If we have scissors somehow. Okay. I don't know that we do. I'm pretty confident you can get a cut in half t-shirt back through the Walmart customer service. Yeah. You probably give this guy a lane of uh, clearance. We are one mile from Daytona Beach. Just a couple.
couple dudes with wigs and dresses and a Ouija board going to Daytona Beach. I am a little bit nervous about the Ouija board. I've never used one. Well, I think first you got to take the uh, little controller thing and shove it up your ass. No, yeah, if you never use one, you got to shove it up your ass first. What happens if I don't? The spirits won't talk to us. Bad juju. <laughs> if you don't, then you're going to get a, a rash. <laughs> Man, I must have... I must have pissed off the Ouija board last night walking through Universal because I am rashed up. You got some rash? Buddy, my thighs, whew. It was like you're carving ham. Yeah. You want want to bite, Mike? No. Is it bone-in? Oh, buddy. (laughs) Is it honey-baked? It's it's, it's honey-baked. No, it's not (laughs) honey-baked. Is it spiraled? It's it's funny-baked. Smoked or fresh? Oh, definitely not fresh. <laughs> All right, I'll have a slice. <laughs> I, I don't worry. I serve it with Hawaiian rolls, so you'll be all right. Now, Jake, to get your to get the inside of your thighs right again, will you yeah. have to like lay like you're giving birth? I told these guys. I said, I don't know if you heard me, Mike. I said I wanted one of you guys to stop at CVS, pick up some baby powder, and throw a change up into my nutsack last night. Are you a gold bond man? I don't know what's what's gold. I never use gold bond. Gold bond powder? Well, that's mostly for chocolate. I use I baby guess. powder. Okay. To, ha- to handle these baby nuts. I think it gets the job done. My nuts or the baby powder? Your balls, baby. Thank you. You can't stop having kids. Nah, There's not man, that's overtime. A, talking about oversized loads, right? I'm, I'm loading and it's over overloaded. <laughs> Guys, if you've never driven on a road, look up oversized load <laughs> on Google Images. Just if you want to be in on the bed. Uh oh, there's an outlet around here. Right, Man, so this whole time, here. I thought she was doing the nasty in this room. No. This is her, this is her go back and chill room. She did eat pussy in this room. Go on. But not for business? No. Well, Mike, I'm gonna have a little sandwich for you when uh, we get to the room. I get my outfit on. What if we were able to make some money by like having you naked on the bed and having like perverts come in and just like throw powder at you? We do. If they're throwing powder in the right places, I'd be game. You ever see this? Want me to throw a Craigslist ad up? (laughs) Yeah, there's horses. Horses. All right, here we go, baby. Ooh, 95 South. Ooh, there it is. All right, we're driving back home to Philly. Huh. You brought all your shit. I think James. 95 South in Florida would get us there for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to drive us to the tip of Florida. We're going to take a raft back up. I already told him we need powder for you, Jake. Man, you ever see This Is 40? <coughs> yeah. You know that scene when Paul Rudd's trying to look into his asshole? I don't remember that. His whole, you don't remember? That's like... The, I, I oh. just remember the beginning where... Uh, what's his name? Pork and Leslie Man in the shower. Oh, yeah. Paul Rudd. Yeah, and he talks about taking blue chew. Yeah. Yeah, that's like so the opening scene. She took a blue chew and she gets mad because... Yeah, why is she getting mad? Because she, like, she feels hymns. Yeah, she feels that that makes her less attractive. Like, no, he has to it. take it. But anyway, that there's be, a scene where... That he, bitch needs to take a fucking health class. <laughs> there's a there's a scene where uh, he's holding up one of those handheld mirrors in, into his asshole. Shut up, dickhead. Are you, are you causing problems with yeah, the drivers? What a, what a coward that guy is. Yeah, plenty of lane. You pussy. All right, let me pull over and piss so I can fight this fucking cement mixer behind me. Or maybe he was just telling you you're gay. Yeah, well, I should have beat back. I should have beat <laughs> back from Google. <laughs> that might be boop, boop. You should have beat back to boop. <laughs> <laughs> well, beat back for him, yeah. beep, boop. 
Yeah, we should create stickers to say back the boop. Show <laughs> <laughs> beep up solidarity. Bro, what? <laughs> I'm having a stroke. I can't. Help me. I don't know what's I can't what. Make your all right, so you're already making stickers. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you talk to your guy and make back the boop stickers? So oh, everybody, boop. how big are they? Just for the corner of your windshield. Right. In case you get pulled over by a beep boop. What's like so with uh, usually with the police thing? It's a it's a shield. So what would you do for a beep boop? Uh, probably a pair of giant underwear. <laughs> <laughs> the granny panties. Yeah. Oh. Game worn or, or yeah. fresh? No, they're fresh, man. You can get them at Beep Boop Secret. <laughs> we have arrived in Port Orange. We made a bitch. We have. We get in the right hand lane and have this fucking faggot beep with me again. I don't understand why those semi trucks have a doggy door on the back. Bob Evans, Sonny's Barbecue, oh, Golden Corral, Chick Fil A, Chili's, Jake. Wendy's, McDonald's, Panera, Applebee's, Denny's, Subway, John Jake's Broken. Public, Hit him. Wawa, Wawa, Seven <laughs> Eleven. He's been right the whole time, though. Yeah, thank you. No. Yeah, I don't want to draw attention to it, but there was no Taco Bell on those signs. I know that. I know where all the Taco Bells are, Jake. Yeah, we're off the Taco Bell beaten path. We're out of Taco Bell territory. There it is. Beautiful Port Orange, Florida. Ooh. Let me know if there's somewhere you guys want to stop to eat. Should have got the sign. Stop anywhere for Yeah, he's got to pay. So bad. Okay. Gas station. Wawa. Panera. McDonald's. 7-Eleven. Or 7 is closest to the right. Ooh, yeah. To, it's close to the right, you said? Alright, well, I'm in the left lane, so we'll hit that Wawa. Okay. You can do it, Danny. I don't know. It's like, it's like We're about to have matching piss stains. Alright, yeah. why don't we uh, stop podcasting now? Yeah. His and his. Alright, we'll see you guys later.